enough to join us and uh, let, let's begin with uh, getting the job. Uh, tell me about the process of going through the steps of the position you're in. Now. Yeah, um, it wasn't unlike uh, my first, uh, I guess, process of getting into college athletics uh, when I went to Ole Miss in 2009, maybe. Um, it uh, it always takes way longer <laughs> than 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 you think it will take. I remember when I worked on the in the ad agency side in that business. Um, I, I can remember several times interviewing someone and hiring them at the end of the interview and then starting the next day. Like it was just like it, it's it was so compressed because in the ad y'all know I mean in the ad agency world like you when you need people you need them like now you need them yesterday um and then and then you know academia and and i guess the um uh, the larger the corporation it just it just there's a lot more a lot more uh par- parts in the process yeah. um as there should be um but so it's been a um i think i started uh in that process maybe at the end of january i think and uh yeah i think my last interview was sometime in April, May, somewhere there. Yeah, it kind of all runs together. <laughs> and you, you know, you're doing that, and 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 you, and <laughs> and and then you're, you know, you, you got a job. You have a full time job that that you know is in kind of the middle of uh, the the craziest um, uh, time of year on a campus when you start getting all that crossover with basketballs and uh, yeah, yeah, baseball, yeah. softball. Like it's, I mean, it's. 100 miles an hour and um so it was quite uh, it was it took a little bit of a balancing act um not just just professionally but it personally and emotionally you know you just, it's just a process you know that can be uh long and take takes it just takes energy it takes a lot of energy well a, so one thing in particular that at least wes and i have talked about is what the SEC network has done for the other Olympic sports. Oh, yeah. And just the explosiveness of softball. Of I've watched more softball than I thought I would ever watch. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing. And um, in so many sports like that, like I, I, I did not really um, – I didn't know much about college volleyball um, – when I got to when I got to Ole Miss, that's a sport that I really fell in love with. Fast, it's a it's it's similar to softball. It's extremely fast paced and extremely athletic, um, and it's a great family a sp- family event because it doesn't the games aren't you know that long. I mean, ninety minutes you probably get out of get out of a volleyball match, and um, but softball just has this great pace to it that fit for fans is fun to consume. It's fun to watch, um, and, and, you know, the schools and, and our production folks do a great job of, of presenting it in a way that's, that's fan-friendly and, and really entertaining. So has anybody ever calculated, because, you, you know, how much money that they're actually contributing to the overall check that goes paid to the, the schools at the end of the year, the non-Olympic sports, because it's always just been – well, they don't make any yeah, money. Yeah, the blanket statement. The blanket yeah. statement. The, you know, the, the football and basketball make all the money. And certainly, as far as attendance and getting money in from boosters and all that, there's no question that's what happens. And TV, for the most part. Yeah. My question is, how much do, has anybody ever calculated how much volleyball brings in, or especially women's softball, which I think is as popular as men's baseball almost. To it's me, a, it yeah, is. It's a huge sport. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much money they're bringing in now, what part of the SEC network is what they would be paid if it was just one check to the to the uh, softball team. Like by sport? Saying? No, yeah. I, I, I don't know that it's, it's been broken down. And maybe it has, but I'm, I don't know I'm if so you, new even enough if to, can. Yeah, and I don't know if you can either. Yeah. And, you know, it, it um, there's also expenses that go with, with, you know, producing the games and, right. and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, it's it's you hit the nail on the head when you talked about Ticket revenue and donor revenue. I mean, that's right. the that's the kind of the lion's share of, of most of the schools right. um, the overall budgets. So, as far as uh, the S, you know, when when the SEC network started, I was excited because we I thought we you know well, heck we're going to have be able to watch all the old games, <laughs> you know, on TV the old football games, you know, from back in the day. And certainly, there's some, not as many as as I thought. You know, the only yeah. ones y'all, y'all play, seems to me, are the ones where Alabama got beat the last 
13 years old. There's 20, there's 26 of them. They're, and they're, 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 they're like on a loop. You know, if I have to watch Texas A&M beat Alabama again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get sick. <laughs> I mean, but the, look, on linear, you got to remember, linear, there's there's just 24 hours in a day. I mean, oh, that's, I that's the canvas yeah, we I get know. to paint on. Oh, and, I know it. Yeah. And, uh, and there's so much current programming. Content. There's yeah, so, so much that. current programming, whether it's studio or whether it's live events. And uh, and I would say, like, the, the, that's why those, the school takeover days are so awesome. It's because the schools get to decide which old games. And most oh, of wow. those, yeah, most of those um, takeover days are, are full of, of classic games. And the schools um, I uh, get to program that. really hard. I, don't get, I need to get a schedule, I guess. That's Is there any thought to an SEC classic? What do you mean? I, I mean, we have ESPN classic. Oh, I have no idea. I, I mean, yeah. what, what goes into yeah. the vetting out? I'm sure that you get multiple ideas pitch to you all over the place yeah and there's a lot of people that um uh would would be part of that process in terms of vetting out like a, a particular piece of of content is that what you're asking yeah, like a yeah. show idea and it yeah. all depends i mean it depends on what kind of show it is i mean is it is it like a true south that's that's <laughs> i mean yeah. very different than what um you know an sec now would be um those are very very just different types of shows so you bring in a lot of different people especially on the production side because they know how to get that show created i mean the if it's not created, it's nothing. Yeah. Um, and so it's a big team effort to, to um, try to find what is the, what's the best content that we can create that SEC fans will love and watch and share and talk about and get excited about. And um, that's a, almost a full-time job. I mean, it is a full-time job. Well, I'm, and I, don't, I wouldn't try to be really critical because I <laughs> love the SEC network, and it's yeah. been an, an incredible ride. Uh, I remember the first time I got to see the SEC Network when it first launched. I was mm -hmm. in Hawaii. Yeah. And it launched in Hawaii, and I knew then. That's big time that's right there. Big time. Yeah, you knew right then. Right that's then. That's big time. It, yes. Yeah. That, that's that this, huge. Yeah. That, um, it's the most successful the, launch of a, t of a television network in history. I mean, it's, and, it's incredible. And, and I think that y'all studied the Big Ten launch and what they did wrong and what they could have changed. Uh, I'm not I mean, sure. That, yeah. yeah that I read me. something. Yeah. Yeah. And, and – just brilliant the way they did it. Yeah, brilliant. it was, it was of course, well done. A lot of better, a lot of better content also than the Big Ten. Yeah, it's my personal. Opinion. And you know, the other thing that's really <laughs> fascinating too is like the, if you go back to launch day, which which wasn't that long ago, but but technology, I mean, has changed so much. Then like, we have, I mean, I don't even know how many hours. Amanda probably knows exactly. I mean, hours of content in the digital side. Yeah, that's you know on demand right now. That that could be you know school produced stuff it could be um older games but there's so much you know you don't have the same uh guardrails that you do in a 24-hour linear that right. what digital provides is just almost almost unlimited so with the streaming services and we're starting to see uh, groups like amazon it just the nfl going to sure. an amazon <laughs> it just I, it just it feels like everything is evolving in this medium it is. It, it certainly is. But but linear TV is still very very powerful. I mean, it's very yeah. powerful, and um, uh, it's it's complemented extremely well by by the digital side. And and in some ways, uh, you know, you could read any kind of reports out there. Just the the evolving audiences and 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 how and how they consume it, how they want to consume it. I mean, I probably watch more on this device, this iPad in front of me, than I do on on my larger television at home. Um, and same with the phone, because I normally do it in, in maybe non-traditional spots. You know what I mean? Like where I am. <laughs> so, um, and my kids are the same way. I mean, they're the same way. Finally, is there any kind of programming that you can maybe share with us that is in the works maybe for the fall, winter, maybe next spring? Well, what Laura, what Laura uh, uh, showed um, around lunch today, I mean, that's, those are the big announcements. True South, obviously, coming back for a fifth season is, is incredible. Um, and, and, and bringing on Takeo. Um, and so you're, you're going to see, like, some wrinkles and, and things like that. But, I mean, our content right now is, is, is pretty, pretty locked in, and we're, we're excited about it. Thank you so much for your yeah. time. Thank you.